Hello everybody. Welcome to number one doctor channel. Today video is about anorectal disease, which is part of our playlist called short medical notes, in which we will have short videos about important topic in medicine but please do not forget to like and share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel number one doctor and join our social media accounts in the links below each video. Our aim is to share the correct medical knowledge for all for free. Share and be shared. Today we will talk about anorectal disease. In all anorectal disease cancer should be ruled out by proper physical exam, including proctosigmoidoscopic exam, even though the clinical presentation may suggest a specific benign process. Hemorrhoids typically bleed when they are internal can be treated with rubber band ligation, or hurt when they are external may need surgery if conservative treatment fails. Internal hemorrhoids can become painful and produce itching if they are prolapsed. Anal fissure happens to young women. They have exquisite pain with defecation and blood streaks covering the stools. The fear of pain is so intense that they avoid bowel movements and get constipated and sometimes refuse proper physical examination of the area. Exam may need to be done under anesthesia the fissure is usually posterior, in the midline. A tight sphincter is believed to cause and perpetuate the problem, thus therapy is directed at relaxing it, stool softeners, topical nitroglycerin, local injection of botulinum toxin, forceful dilatation or lateral internal sphincterotomy. Calcium channel blockers such as diltiazem ointment to teed topically for 6 weeks have had an 80-90 success rate, as compared to only 50 success for botulinum toxin. Crohn's disease often affects the anal area. It starts with a fissure, fistula, or small ulceration, but the diagnosis should be suspected when the area fails to heal and gets worse after surgical interventions. The anal area typically heals very well because it has excellent blood supply. Failure to do so means Crohn's disease. Surgery, in fact, should not be done in Crohn's disease of the anus. A fistula, if present, could be drained with sedans while medical therapy is underway. Remicade helps healing. Ice cure rectal abscess. Pararectal abscess is very common. Patient is febrile, with exquisite pararectal pain that does not let him sit down or have bowel movements. Physical exam shows all the classic findings of an abscess rubor, dolor, calor, and tumor lateral to the anus, between the rectum and the ischial tuberosity. Incision and drainage are needed, and cancer should be ruled out by proper examination during the procedure. If patient is severely diabetic, Horrible necrotizing soft tissue infection may follow. Watch him closely. Fistula and onyo develops in some patients who have had an ice cure rectal abscess drained. Epithelial migration from the anal crypts where the abscess originated and from the perineal skin where the drainage was done form a permanent tract. Patient reports fecal soiling and occasional perineal discomfort. Physical exam shows opening or openings lateral to the anus. A cord-like tract may be felt, and discharge may be expressed. Rule out necrotic and draining tumor, and treat with fistulotomy. Squamous cell carcinoma of the anus is more common in HIV, and in homosexuals with receptive sexual practices. Fungating mass grows out of the anus, metastatic inguinal nodes are often felt. Diagnose with biopsy. Treatment starts with negro radiation protocol followed by surgery if there is residual tumor. Currently the 5-week chemo radiation protocol has a 90 success rate, so surgery rarely is required. Thanks for watching our video and hope to see you again in next videos. Do not forget to see other videos in our channel. With my best wishes. Dr. Atev Ahmed wishes.